Alright, so boom. My name is Kip, and we're back with more Tokyo Extreme Race Zero. We're back on Tokyo's highways, try to knock out all these rivals and become the fastest driver in all of Japan. We're on day 19. Where should we go now? Leave. Go on Shinkanjo clockwise. I don't think I've touched this section at all, at least in this direction. So let's get it. Fresh batch of rock. Wind Impala. Haven't seen a 8-6 in a minute. But they ain't fully kitted out. Still no match for my periwinkle Nippon R32. Easy money, man. It's too easy. Street dance. Just don't be dancing all over this street, man. I got a race to win. Your name tells me you about to do too much. I will be having none of it. Black Mirage. My bad.
cowboy girl. It just say cowgirl. I mean, uh, I, I, I kind of understand why. That's it. <laughs> Pretty much untouchable on this section of C1. The only way I lose is if I mess up. Silver Impact. I just gotta make enough money to get my next engine. If I get my next engine upgrade, I should be really untouchable. Playing this game just makes me think it's a damn shame that Wong and Midnight is only on the arcades because we don't have that many arcades here and that's pretty much the only game left in terms of Japanese highway racers. I mean, I've played it before, it, it looks great, it plays great and all that, but, dang, it's not, it's not accessible, you can't, it's not like you could play it at home without an emulator. Like, you can still purchase the disc for this game and pop it in your PS2 and play it today. It's, it's not the same. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying this game. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game because that's just me. But I would love in the year 2024 for us to have a game like this where we can play at home. And I'm not talking about a settled course of because a lot of people bring that up, but it's not the same. It looks great, it drives great, great, cool, good. I get that, but it's not the same game. Unless someone can recreate the game, then it's not the same. Bartender. That is a metal name.
Yeah, all these guys is light work. Oh no, cube is arrows. The name's too much love in that name, man. You gotta get some more hate up in you. Let me say I'm the biggest hater. <laughs> it's a thin line between love and hate. Well, let me say I'm the biggest hater. And whoever this is, Professor Speedy. Didn't we already see a, a, a person who... No. I forgot his name. But I feel like we saw Professor Speedy before. Take you off the beaten path. I still don't know why they took this route away in Tokyo Extreme Race 3. I feel like they could have utilized it. Even if they it, like if they felt that it was underutilized in this game, they could have utilized it and provided more incentive for people to actually use it, like have rivals that exclusively go along this route. The same way they had with, um, the same way they did with, uh, like Osaka and Got the other one. But yeah, you know what I mean. Osaka, like Osaka, where they had like the inner loops and the outer loops, and some rivals only went on the inner loops. Could have did it like that. Nagoya just hit me. slick move and it did not work out. It certainly did not work out. <laughs> oh my god. That's that retire for the night. Got some new rims. Early dancer. <laughs> what team we looking at? We didn't uh, do fine draw. Queen's Paradise Rings. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got so many. We still do. That's kind of crazy. But I got some more people here. It's hard to keep track of them all. Oh, damn. I must have completely forgot cuz. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I think I chose to race him again. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I'm fucking not that I'm here. <laughs> Beat your ass again. That's all right. Damn. Chill out, man. 
Watch it out, man. I don't want to do this. <laughs> hey, you ain't want to do that. Yeah, I was not trying to uh, race them. I was trying to figure out. Go this way, cause there's more um, Cupid Arrow peoples in our gang. I did our gang, but there's more Cupid Arrow people. Yeah, there we go. Got a whole new batch. What did that name say? Mysterious Nymph. Hmm. All right. See you when you're Honda Prelude. Type R. Mr. Muscle? You would think Mr. Muscle would be driving a muscle car. That RSX? Mr. Muscle, your car just wasn't strong enough. My bad. I didn't mean to hit your Celica. Celica got a little speed on it.
Somebody going that way. I wonder if they'll wander. Raspberry Kiss in the BMW. See what's over there. Who's that over there? I'm like feeling like I'm missing something. Let's go that way. See who's over there. But yeah, that was our first uh, international vehicle. No, actually, no, I'm lying. Because we done raced uh, Mercedes Benz before. We done raced a couple Benzes before. But that's the first Beamer. And like I said, I believe only one person drives a Porsche in this game, and that's uh, Zero. He drives the Blackbird. Did not expect that person to suddenly switch lanes. White Panther. The power of the White Panther will be stripped away. Let's not make the same mistake as last. Let's pick a side and go. Made the same mistake as last. There you go. Where did he come from? Because I thought he was in front of me. I 
could have swore he was in front of me. May C1 be the death of you. And it always is. <laughs> that uh, White Panther power was stripped away very quickly. Back to regularly scheduled programming. Taking out Cupid Arrow. Moonlight Child. Alright. See what you got. Almost a tragedy. Right. Back to the garage. Oh, I have enough to uh I have enough to upgrade my engine yet again. They ain't never gonna catch up to me at this rate. Got the E36. Very nice. Sir. The periwinkle monster is even more dangerous now. Entrepreneur. What do you do, Mr. Entrepreneur? What do you do? You're an entrepreneur. I mean, you're a business owner. What kind of business? Capital One, what's in your wallet? I'm pocket watching like a motherfucker. It's probably because I spent everything I have on this brand new engine used specifically to smoke dumbasses like you, Mr. Entrepreneur. I will gladly take your money as a return on my investment, Mr. Entrepreneur. Thank you for your charitable donation to the You Just Got Smoked Fun, Mr. Entrepreneur. It was a pleasure doing business with you. The Celica burning the midnight oil. Oh, midnight owl. 
I thought it said midnight oil. Either way, who gonna believe that you can beat me? Picking weird places to slow down. Like they wasn't just barreling through a minute ago. That could have been disastrous. Should have took him the other way. Well, never mind, he just didn't fare very well anyway. <laughs> that another wanderer? Man. Oh, never mind. Never mind, craft man. See if I could catch this one over here. Child, I just whooped on you. Right. 
246 Heartbreaker. Is that the number of hearts you have broken? So if you beat me, you're going to be number 247? Is that what you're saying? If you beat me in this race, you're going to be 247 Heartbreaker? Guess we'll never know then. Or is that how many times you've had your heart broken? Because in that case, if I beat you, then you could be 247 heartbreaker because your heart has been broken 247 times. I'm just speculating is all. Either way. What I'm saying is you're going to lose this race. No matter how many times you try to hit me or run me off the road, that ain't going to work. It's nice for that. That race ran longer than usual. Ooh, is that the S2000? Show is. Sonic Runner. Ooh, I'm about to knock the rings out of you. smack the wall again. Oh. You really did smack the wall. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Hey, Sonic Runner done knocked the rings out themselves. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Either way, W's a W. Fallen Blade. We got another devil on our hands. I'm sure they got speed, but this part of the course, as usual, is to my advantage. It is. In there. I ain't never seen that. Did I cancel it? I didn't cancel it.
CLK, man. I know people love, you know, these days, it's all about the S class and the E class. But man, the C and C class stands for classic. Lose this race. I was just in awe of how good the car was. That's it. I just got distracted is all. That ain't gonna happen again. Okay, it happened again. My car is tired. <laughs> I need to return to the garage. Maybe tune it a bit. Alright. We're gonna try this again. Wanderer here. Storm Screamer. You can't encounter the devil from beating a wanderer. You have to beat a rival that you already beat. I'm, I assume. So let's see. Oh, it's entrepreneur again. I'm gonna make another deal. We just came to be a bitch.
did they hit the traffic control vehicle? If so, that's what they ass get. I spoke too soon, because then it happened to me. Oh my god. rough. I think I had a choice. Going the other way would not have been good for me. Or at least attempting to put that call in the way. Either way. Taking them off the beaten path. And we won. Yes, sir. Hysteric profession. Damn, look at that. All right. Well, so, uh, upgrade all parts, man. Be good now. I don't think that was a good. There was an upgrade for wheels. is here now. Alright, new batch of rivals. Let's go. guy in a team called Queen's Paradise. Going. 
shop. Sunday drive up. Oh, what a coincidence. I am racing Sunday driver on a Sunday night. Oh, damn. <laughs> nah, that truck was wild. <laughs> nah, that truck was wild. I can't believe it did that. Oh, it's about to happen again. It, oh, man. See, the second truck didn't catch me, but it caught them. <laughs> How unfortunate for Sunday Driver. Oh, man. Sing me a ballad. I love ballads. race that was pretty hysterical.
accident. Hey, I love how much more dynamic the traffic is in this game as opposed to Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. You get more chaotic moments and you get more, you know, more randomness. You motherfucker. Come here, balalaika man. I will destroy you. Can't do that to me. I'm too hard body. screwed myself over. Yeah. I killed myself. Damn. I killed myself with that one. Try that again. Where are they going? Where are you going, Baba like a man? You got confused. Driving recklessly, I see. They're trying to brake check me, I see. Well, you're not going to get as lucky as the first time. Uh, I'm gone. Oh, you're not going to get as lucky as the first time. We don't make the same mistake twice. Oh, yeah. Don't quote me on that. This should be the last team member before the team leader, right? Mr. Mystery. Let's go, Mr. Mystery. I hope Mr. Mystery don't miss the victory. Alright, well, Mr. Mystery, you missed the victory, so the victory will remain a mystery to Mr. Mystery. The mystery of victory. And it will go down forever in history as the mystery of victory. Shocking joke. Well, 
that was a shock for sure. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Got in there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, another devil? Let's go. Dark producer. Let's go, dark producer. Black S2000. Oh god. Stop. Take them out. I ain't gonna do it like this though. <sighs> Always fold on the big ones. Like I said, we don't make the same mistakes twice. Watch this. same mistakes twice. Oh, ah. Man. That was kind of dicey right there. Good lord. Killing them corners, man. Turn to the garage. Damn, we got a new set of wheels again. Nice, nice, very nice. All right, I'm a hysteric professional. I mean, that that about sums me up pretty well. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for the night, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Appreciate y'all riding with me once again. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to keep up with what I got going on, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow me on all my socials. Don't forget to comment, share, all that good stuff. And we're going to get back to it another night, man. This is a Hysteric Professional, a.k.a. Kip. <laughs> and I'm signing off, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.